Hey guys, Mr. Baldo here. Just making a quick instructional video so you guys know what to do for your year 8 physics cut this semester. Okay, now but this cut has been made so it's really easy for you guys to complete at home during remote learning. All you'll need is some basic materials. Just a wide open space and two balls. Okay, now when you are selecting the two balls you're going to use for this experiment, make sure you pick balls that are good at bouncing plus two balls that are fairly different in size. Now I'm going to grab the basketball and a tennis ball. Now, your backyard and the backyard grass will be totally adequate for this experiment, but if you want to get more out of it, I suggest choosing somewhere that's a bit more wide open and somewhere with a bit of concrete. So, follow me. Okay, so in this first video, I'm going to show you part A of this experiment. Now in this part, what we're going to be doing is we're going to test the two balls individually. I've got a basketball and a tennis ball. And we're going to be recording and observing two things. The first thing we're going to observe is how high the ball bounces after I drop it. And the second thing we're going to observe is how many times the ball actually bounces. Okay. Okay, so test one. Is a basketball. Well done. Now it's important to do the test more than one time. Do it about three or maybe even five times. The more times you do it, the more reliable your observations are going to be. Okay. Now we're going to repeat the same process with the tennis ball. Okay, so now it's time to document your results. Okay, don't forget to fill out your table about how many times the balls bounced and work out an average. Also, don't forget to use as much scientific terminology as you can in your explanations. Okay, we've learned about energy all through the topic, so don't forget about all of the, the words you could be using like potential energy, kinetic energy, and even the forms of wasted energy that contribute to the balls bouncing the way that they do. <laughs> okay guys, now we're up to part B of this experiment. Now this one here is all about energy transfer. Okay, What we have to do is stack the two balls on top of each other. If you use the bigger ball at the bottom, and you're going to use the smaller ball on top. Then once you've got it, all you have to do is release the two balls and drop them. Okay, I'm not going to show you what happens. You're going to have to do that part of the experiment for yourself. But just like before, don't forget guys, what you're doing is trying to make some detailed observations and making sure that you're using as much scientific terminology to try and explain what happened with the two balls.